Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about how we can create people picker control into Power Apps in two different ways and how we can write back or update back the values of those selected people or multiple users to the SharePoint list column back. So I am going to talk about both the classic way of creating people picker control and as well as with the creator kit, which I have been explaining into my past few videos, how we can create, how we can leverage creator kit control components which are already built and i'll drop a i'll write the link into the description so that you can directly watch my that video how to configure the creator kit how you can start utilizing the components of it so let's get started i am into make.powerapps.com and over here we'll start with a blank app and i'll create a blank canvas app and we'll name that as a people picker demo and we'll start with adding data source as Office 365 users. I'll go to this data source icon, add data. We'll connect, we'll do start typing the connector as Office 365 users. And I'll select one of the connection. And first we are going to take a look on the classic way of building the people picker control. For that we are going to have take help of combo box. So I'll just insert one combo box from this insert button I'll just type in combo box and I will connect this combo box to my data source of the 65 users and just expand it so that we can look it properly and over here so right now I'm getting error because we have to make the uh, selected values from this connector with a search function so I'll just say search user and you can actually leverage this search user version 2 function and search term would be the combo box dot search text whatever we are searching in combo box and then we'll just result into top 5 or 10 selections I'll just say 10 and we close it back close and dot value so that we can get the values out of it and right now this is this configuration of this uh, a data source is done but if I just go down to my this right hand side and we need to search for these two uh, stuff allow multiple selection so that we can able to allow select multiple users and allow searching so that we can type in within the combo box so these properties has to be on and once these are done I can start adding the fields whatever fields I would expect out of my this data source I would just click on add it in layout we can select person layout by default it connects to this three four columns and we can change this column primary text as let's say display name secondary text i would like to uh, show email and search field should be display name so whatever i would be writing so that should be searchable so i have just added this combo box configured this office UI connected as data source and we are good with this classic way of adding people picker so i'll just run it and i'll just try to find out users out of it so it has started giving me the users i can keep on selecting multiple ones and i am getting out of it so it's very classic way of doing uh, this people picker so as i said we are going to leverage the creator kit for a beautiful people picker additionally so what i'll do in my past video i have already talked about how you can quickly uh, configure or add creator kit and start using the controls out of it so i will drop that video link so that you can directly learn those steps and then get to this step directly so i am just clicking on plus and get more components and we'll directly go to the code so that we can find the control which is already built for people picker into creator kit so i'll just search people and I'll get this free and people picker preview. So though it's in preview, but uh, can be utilized very well. So I clicked on import. And now once I search into this box, I will find my this people picker control. And I'll just add this below this control. So right now, as I added this control, it asked me again with the data source. I'll just align this better. And it asked for the data source control. Uh, for this control and what we are going to do we are going to do not directly add the data source before that we will create a collection of properties which we are going to utilize or leverage on the selected suggestions so what i'm going to do 
if you go to this uh, Microsoft People Picker Control detail page, you will find the property related to this control. What properties need to be selected? So items is pre-selected persona members to appear on People Picker. Suggestion items, People Picker type. So these are the other properties. What we are going to directly do is we are going to go over here and copy this entire collection. And what is this entire collection all about is is creating a table which has the which has this filter on this search text whatever is being passed to that people pick a control and it's adding multiple columns additionally search suggestion key with the email suggestion name and this part which is actually a persona image so i will directly copy this and i will you can directly refer this part and you can make adjustment to this table or collection which we are creating so for example if you don't need to show this images because it slow down the searching of your people picker control so you can remove this part you need not to show the image of users if you need not to show, show the role of that user you can skip this down so no no need to have these multi columns the important part is to have this filter and filter on the self search text so I'll just go again back to my this control and over here I will search for the on search property of this control and on search we are going to have this collection created. So whatever we copied we'll just paste for this control and if I just scroll down so you will see like we are filtering on search users we are finding we are substituting this JSON for user photo from the same connector and adding up the multiple other keys suggestion key suggestion name and I'll minimize it and we can just simply run this one so I will start searching on this so right now we are not getting any search result because we have to uh, one more important step it needs to be set that is suggestion items so I have to close this and again go to my this properties pane and where I need to select my control and again suggestion items over here so whatever collection we built we are going to pass on the collection over here so user collection was the name so after setting this user collection as suggestion items we can just quickly run it and let's say I try to find out some suggested user let's see so I am able to so are this fluent UI control is giving us the search results so these two controls we have added now the next part I want to update these control values to my SharePoint list so I have this one of the SharePoint list that has approver column and it's a multi selected people picker column so we want to patch the record back with the multiple updates and multiple users selected from this field to this SharePoint list column so we are going to look at both the ways I'll just insert two more buttons so first button to patch the record using combo so if you are using combo people picker then we'll just patch record using this way and if we are using the fluent UI control of people picker then we'll patch the uh, record using fluent people picker button so let's look at both the controls how to do it so for patching we have to construct one table or I would say a record which should have the data type as people picker field column so this is the SP list expand user column so if you look at the data type is Microsoft dot Azure dot connector SharePoint list expand users so we have to have to construct a record like that and as I said it's a multiple uh, people pick people picker field so we will be extracting the multiple users selected users and then pass the record back to our SharePoint list column so I will use if you look at this patch function with the patch function we are passing this approval demo list which is our data source and then looking up my approval my record based on the ID so that I can get the record and this is my approval people picker field in my SharePoint and for that with the help of for all function we are going to do a selected operation on the combo box whatever being selected with this record so in record we have o data type as people uh, sp list expand user then we have to pass the claims display name and email so let's 
actually copy this entire function and go to power apps and over here in this on select of my this patch using combo button so i'll just paste it and we'll just do a tweaking to it so my this approval data list so first of all let's remove it and add a approval uh, data list from sharepoint so i'll add my sharepoint as connector and set this sharepoint site as a data source select the approval data list approval demo list and we'll add that so now we are ready to do patch operation on that data source let me just paste the entire formula and over here we are going to do a lookup on demo list with the item id 9 or if you are in your application you can read this item using lookup looking uh, looking up on the gallery selected item id based on that and in approval is my field as i said this approval field multi select field and for all because we have to iterate through all the selected items into my combo box my combo box is one in this case so i'll just iterate through my items and o data type is sp list expand users and this claims is mail so as you remember like when we initially set our combo box fields so we set up these fields mail display name and then email with a mail so if i just minimize this and save it and do a run so we would expect our selected users let me clear this existing list and i'll just add up one more user so that we can do a collective patch operation on these three record using patch using combo so once i click on it so though i forgot to have the success notification so that we should be notified but if i go to my list and refresh it i should find this approvers is updated into my this record so with this formula which we are doing with a patch operation on for do for all so that all the selected items can be counted as on table and this record should be passed back so i'll just paste this formula so that you can directly start using this formula and the same thing which we are going to do on this fluent ui picker control but as the selection or the this control is altogether different so we have to find out the selected items if i go to this button and i have written the formula for again for this fluent ui you people picker control so again the base record is approval demo list looked up the id as 10 this is the base record where we are going to do the patching and approver is the field for all is our function to iterate through these selected people so this is the key where we are getting all the selected people as table re table records and again we are creating this record with the sp list expand user and passing up the selected value so i am just going to copy this and paste this on select of my this people picker and over here we need to just replace this people picker control i think it's one only so over here if you look at this formula you will find like uh, right now it's persona key so whatever the people is selected we have to find out the persona key out of it so persona key is nothing but it gives us the email address of my selected people and in this persona name column will get the name of the selected user so we can just replace that with text and persona key again is some email of our uh, selected people so right now it's set up if you wish to have a look on like what uh, this selected people gives you as a as a result so you can what you can do you can minimize and add one grid i would suggest so that you can see our table so which you can see directly if you bind this grid with your this uh, people picker column so i'll just say in items select people picker dot selected people and as a field you can add the field which you wish to have so you can just select this field from persona key name presence all this so you will start seeing the actual value which is there into your uh, this data table so that based on that you can decide which field to patch with which property so i'll just select this table and move this table down so on this 
people picker add so that's why I get to know that person key is my email if you look at your this grid you will see person key is giving the email addresses of the people so that's why I binded up that email uh, person key is with claims appending this i colon zero hash membership and then email with the persona key so once i save it run it and now i'll just select remove the existing people i'll just keep on selecting few couple of them and now i'll just patch this using this operation for for, for all and if I go to my demo list, so now the operation should be done for item number 10 for the free and control. So these are the two users I wanted to patch or update. So we were able to successfully update or update the value from these people, both type of people picker to the SharePoint path. So we have achieved the objective of the video. And uh, if you have any questions or confusions, then you can drop me your comments and I'll try to answer. So that is it for today's video. Thank you.